what is going on guys, my name is Friendly Machine and today guys, if you can tell by the sound of my voice, I'm ill so that's the reason I haven't been as consistent as I usually would with the uploads especially because I've got a two week break now for like off school and stuff but I've still got work obviously to do for school and college or whatever you want to call it but anyways today, this isn't about that, this isn't about my life this is about the top 5 most underrated guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 now today these aren't going to be necessarily the best guns I mean there is some pretty good guns in this list that I'm surprised that not a lot of people are using and that's the reason they're in this list because these guns in this list are going to be the guns that I don't really see used often on me multiplayer or my teammates on me using in multiplayer as well so I feel like they should be put on a larger or higher up the scale pedestal than they're already put on because they actually can be used really effectively and getting straight into the list then with that being said in the number 5 spot is the XR2 so this gun I feel is really underrated just because of the fact it's in superior in a lot of people's eyes to the M8A7 but I don't think so I've been using this a lot recently and in my top 10 best guns list I believe this was like I believe it was number 9 and I regret putting it there now because honestly if you land all your shots if you've got a good connection and I know them two things can be kind of lucky factors because a lot of people have differentiating and fluctuating connection and a lot of people sometimes have their aim on and then some days it's just completely all over the place because it might be their first game on using that gun so yeah it's a good gun if you know how to use it and actually kind of stabilize your aim when putting these shots into people and it can be really powerful so that's why it's in the number five spot I mean it's it's commonly used to be honest but I just feel it's under because of the fact everybody uses the M8A7 once they've unlocked it because that's usually people's permanent unlock and getting straight into that number four spot you guys won't be expecting this are you ready are you ready are you ready yeah it's the LK9 so I've got gameplay in the background of me versus bots on this using the Akimbo LK9 is the reason for this guys don't have a go at me if you see this anywhere but my channel because this might get uploaded to someone else's channel or something maybe carnage I don't know but don't have a go at me because I've got gameplay against bots right the reason I've got this against bots is because I was not level 49 to unlock the LK9 at the time of me recording recording this gameplay in the background, wow it was a rhyme there, I should be a rapper, but anyways, like I was going to say, this is a really freaking good gun, a lot of the older Call of Duties, especially like Modern Warfare 3 for example, the FMG9s, they were a machine pistol, just like the LK9, you slap a Kimbo on them, and they're some of the best guns in the freaking game, if you use them on Dome, I mean, nearly a guaranteed Moab every time because they're so overpowered, and the same goes for this to be honest, because like, if you put a Kimbo on a machine pistol in this game, even the RK5, which kind of like replicates the M93 Rafika from Modern Warfare 3, too. It really, really honestly does go to work, guys. I'm not just saying that because I'm first in recruit bots in the background and obviously they're really easy to kill, but I haven't adjusted any of the health settings of these recruit bots and as you can see, I'm clearing out multiple enemies at a time in a single clip and everything like that, so they're powerful. They have an okay amount of ammo, to be honest, to clear out more than one enemy at a time and that's what you want with a gun these days, especially with the new movement system in Call of Duty now. And that's the reason why I think this gun is really underrated or these guns, if you want to go about the underrated factor about the weapon, which is akimbo once it's slapped on the gun it goes from a kind of mediocre -ish pistol to a really demolishing sidearm I mean if you're running out of ammo you need to reload and remember Captain Price always says switching to your sidearms is much faster than reload and I don't know if you guys are OG enough to remember that from the campaign of the Infinity Ward series of Modern Warfare but he says that and yeah it's kind of true with these type of guns that's why it's underrated they do a lot of damage on small maps especially like Nuketown the LK9 so in the number three spot right now I don't know if a lot of you guys will really agree with me on this one here but it's the BRM I put this here because I feel like the Gorgon obviously towards the start of the game it was like a really controversial topic a lot of people were using it because they were saying it's overpowered or borderline overpowered with the fact it's a two shot LMG right and then there's the dredge which is just I mean we've never seen anything like that before a six round burst LMG or a six round burst weapon overall we've never seen and then there's the dingo I mean the dingo it's so more superior in fire rate and if you can land more shots in this game quicker I feel like that really rewards you more because it's all about the rapid fire in this game or it's all about the fire rate I think especially on machine guns I mean the Shiva in itself it doesn't really do too much when you put rapid fire in it I'm not sure about the MX Garand because I don't have it but I feel like the Dingo has more light shed on it and I get killed by the Dingo a lot more often in multiplayer than I do the BRM but the BRM if you can land your shots it's kind of like the XR2 compared to the M8A7 if you land all your shots you got a good connection this gun it can just basically tear holes in people I got a nuclear in the gameplay in the background 
But you guys aren't going to be seeing that because towards the end of the kill streak, I actually used the XR2 to finish everybody off. So you guys are just going to be seeing gameplay of that streak with the BRM, and that's why I really think it's underrated because a lot of people think it's clunky, slow, and everything. But really, if you watch Drifters in depth about it, it's actually a pretty freaking good gun, and it hits hard. And when it hits hard, it puts them down on the ground. And when I say down on the ground, even Rejack can't come back from it. Wow, it was a really bad pun. But anyways, I am not taking any responsibility for you guys who get killed by the specialist ability Rejack when Nomad gets right back up from using Rejack when you've shot him with the BRM and killed him previously because that was a freaking joke guys come on anyways in the number two spot right now we have the HVK now the HVK in my opinion I feel like this gun is underrated but I don't feel like it's a really extraordinary gun in a game unless unless let me finish my point here guys if you put a lot of attachments on it I feel like this gun it's one where you have to stock up on attachments I made a video called perks versus attachments ages ago and this is the gun I showcased in it and why because I feel like this gun it's really successful with attachments and the perks don't really seem to budget obviously when you're in a gunfight situation it's down to it's down to your gun skill and everything I know perks can sometimes aid that because they can have better map positioning or if you get stunned like with tactical mask you know you can evade different situations of actually being incapable of shooting them but obviously it's really down to the gunfight the raw gunfight of it where you're shooting them they're shooting you and the H3K with a lot of attachments guys is pretty good hey that's pretty good yeah that's what I dubs would say but anyways guys it's a really good gun honestly and it's a really good gun to get dark matter or even gold or anything if you're going for dark matter or diamond on assault rifles because I mean if you have to use a lot of attachments it's going to be easy to get that one way you have to stock up on attachments I don't know the one way you take the attachments off or anything like that but I mean the one way you slap on six attachments which include an optical and bearing in mind I feel like this gun needs an optical whether you're using the ELO sight or the red dot I mean if you don't have the ELO unlocked use the red dot because the iron sights are just so clunky on this gun that's why it's in the number two spot because I feel like it's really underrated it can be made up to a potential best gun in the game with the use of a lot of attachments but that's obviously you know deciding whether to use perks or attachments and that's another debate for another video that I've already made so it's in the link in the description down below and the first link you will find will be that video so anyways diving into the number one spot the most underrated gun in my opinion in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 ding 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 or oh, drum roll please or anyone does anyone want to do it no nope. all right we'll just get straight into it so the Razorback a lot of you guys will be thinking well machine this was a really dominant gun in the beta it's obviously a really dominant gun now for a lot of people but I don't feel like it's actual part in dominance is shown enough because in the gameplay in the background right for example I'm solo I'm in 6v6 TDM guess what the score and kill death ratio I get right right yeah have you guessed now calculated in the comment section no nope. okay I go 61 to 4 solo I know I'm winning lethals and everything but you'll see in the gameplay in the background this gun it's really good for every type of situation. I mean, the Razorback, it's an SMG, so obviously it's going to be good up close. Medium range engagements, this gun just feels freaking right. I mean, the CUDA, I sometimes have to, you know, get my accuracy on point with that gun to actually get their medium range kills with an SMG. But the Razorback, it just feels natural. Not even a foregrip on the gun, and it's going to town. Honestly, it's a really good gun, and I feel like a lot of people underlie it because of the fact they obviously think in the beta, that was a lot different to the actual game now, and a lot of people are saying, well, the Razorback isn't the best SMG, so I'm just going to use one that's better than it for close range situations like you would use for an SMG anyways like the VMP or the CUDA and you will knock them quicker anyway so I don't know why a lot of people would want to permanent unlock this although I have that's why I'm using it in the gameplay in the background with that sexy violet camo and that's the reason it's in the number one spot because it basically is good at everything it's, it's good at every situation I don't know what else to say guys I might get my words mixed up and everything but I just can't believe the gameplay I got in the background with it because 61 kills in a TDM which only goes up to 100 6v6 solo I mean, that's freaking good for me. I'm not classified as a permanent pub stomper or anything, although I do like my gameplays. I mean, occasionally, but it's a really good gun. It's probably the most underrated gun in the game, in my opinion, at least, and you guys should definitely go try it. So if you want to, like, see a best class setup on it and you want to see the full gameplay in the background, let me know, and I'll bring that to you guys. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you all for watching. Slap a like on the video down below if you feel the video deserves it, and I love all your faces. Thank you all for watching again, and peace out.